They may seem as though they are merrymaking, but this is a sitting protest by workers at the Livingstone Museum. These workers at the renowned museum are demanding a salary increment, which they have not had for the past eight years, hence they move to go on an indefinite sitting protest until the demands are met. The museum workers who fall under the University of Zambia and Allied Workers Union Unzao are also demanding the resignation of National Museum's Board Executive Secretary, Flexon Mizinga, whom they accuse of failing to address their concerns. Onzao President George Katapazi echoes the workers' grievances. We want an assurance from either the Minister or an assurance from the Minister of Finance. Otherwise, the workers are saying without any assurance, without any payment, without any implementation of their collective agreement, they will be only sitting in protest until their demands are met. In a telephone interview, Chiefs and Traditional Affairs Minister Professor Nkanduluo says the workers' plight will be addressed. They, they, they have not really uh, written to me. They just decided to go and protest. So I've just come out of cabinet. So as soon as I get to the office and review what their issues, I will, I will deal with it. Before they went on the strike, we had already taken an initiative to write to the Minister of Finance to, to release some resources to, for us to pay them. And um, I just checked with the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Finance and uh, it's receiving attention. While they danced in protest, both local and foreign tourists were turned away as entrance to the museum building was sealed off and several placards were displayed. The Livingston Museum is known for its rich, diverse artistic works that are viewed by tourists at a fee. And certainly, government is likely to lose substantial revenue over this indefinite sit-in protest. Clive Kalunga, Movie TV News, and Livingstone.